Hello viewers, welcome to Kids Auto and Truck Repair. Today we have a 2011 Mercedes GL 450. The customer complaint on this vehicle is the ABS light remains on on the dash while the engine is running. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go in the vehicle and confirm the customer's complaint. After confirming the customer's complaint, then we're going to talk about what directions we're going to go so we can figure out whatever that's causing the ABS light to remain on on the dash on this vehicle. So now let's go in the vehicle and confirm the customer's complaint. So as you can hear, the engine is running and the ABS light remains on on the dash while the engine is running. So right there, the ABS light is on on the dash. This triangle light is on with the exclamation point on it. And then the SRS light is also on on the dash. So customer's complaint confirmed. ABS light remains on on the dash. So now I am going to turn off the engine. I'm going to turn the key on. I'm going to get the scan tool connected to the vehicle. After I get the scan tool connected, I will bring you guys back up. I got the scan tool connected to the vehicle. I'm going to bring it up. We're going to scan the ABS control unit. Right there, the scan tool has identified the vehicle. 2011 Mercedes GL class with the 4.6 liter. This is a V8 engine, it's a pretty big engine. Let's do a code scan, although we know that our problem is in the ABS control unit, but let's scan all the control units on the vehicle and see what else we have in the other control units on the car. So let's do a code scan. We are here to fix whatever that's causing the ABS light to remain on on the dash, but it's good to also know what else we have in the other control units. We have two trouble codes in the engine computer. The first trouble code is 0521 and it says diagnosis of tumble flap intake manifold short circuit to ground of sensor lines slash tumble flap shaft stick in the actuated position. Hmm, that's interesting. And then the second code is 1425 and it says wheel speed signal is implausible. Now, as you guys saw when I started the engine, the check engine light was not on. So these codes could be pending codes. So this first code over here is usually caused by sticking intake flaps. I'm going to print out all these codes. I'll send them to the customer and then the customer can decide whether we have to address these codes now or later. But in this video, we're going to focus on the codes that we have in the ABS control unit. We have two codes in the transmission control unit. So let's scroll down and go to the ABS control unit. So right here, we have seven codes in the ABS control unit. The first code in the ABS control unit is 6001. And it says the supply voltage of the control unit is too low under voltage. So the battery on this vehicle might have been discharged at some point. And then the second code is 5135. It says L6-4 right rear speed sensor carry out visual inspection. It looks like we have a problem with the right rear wheel speed sensor. Or maybe the circuit of the right rear wheel speed sensor. Okay. So this is interesting. Let's keep scrolling down. Let's see what else we have. Okay. Now on the generic side of the tool, we have P0721 output shaft speed sensor circuit range slash performance. So that's good to know. So now what we're going to do is all these codes are saved in the scan tool. So I'm going to back out 
and go into the ABS control unit because that's what we're focusing on right now. So here are the codes that we have. I'm gonna back out and erase all these codes. And then we're gonna scan the ABS control unit again to see what codes come back. Let's see if these codes can be erased. So we erased the codes. Let's read the codes again. No codes present right now. That's interesting. So I'm gonna start the engine. So the engine is running. We erased the codes, but the ABS light is still on. Okay, I'm gonna bring up the scan tool again. Let's back out and scan the ABS control unit one more time. Okay, let's go back to the ABS control unit. Let's go to codes, so no codes present. So now what I'm gonna do, since we had a code for the rear wheel speed sensor, I'm gonna go to data and I'm gonna graph all my RPM sensors. Our RPM sensors should be our wheel speed sensors. So I'm gonna graph all of them. And then we're gonna drive around to see if all these sensors will produce activity when we're driving. So this is the left front wheel speed sensor. This is the right front wheel speed sensor. This is the left rear and this is the right rear. Now all of them are showing zero zero right now. So I'm gonna drive the vehicle. As I start driving, these graphs should start updating. We should have activity on all these graphs. Okay, so now I'm gonna put the scan tool right here on the passenger seat. Let's put the vehicle in gear. So I'm just gonna go back and forth here in the shop. Oh, check this out. Look at what I see on the scan tool. I'm just backing up in the shop. We have activity on these graphs, but nothing over here. Okay, so the left front wheel speed sensor is updating. So it's telling the ABS control unit, the wheel speed. This one is working, this one is, but here we have a flat line. So the right rear wheel speed sensor is not working. And this is usually caused by a defective sensor or a problem in the sensor circuit between the sensor and the ABS control unit. So I'm just driving inside the shop. Actually, we don't have to take this on a test drive. So I'm just going back and forth in the shop. Okay, so just back and forth in the shop. And I'm looking at my scan tool right now. Okay, so watch this. So we're gonna back out. Let's go forward. Okay, so this is the problem guys. The right rear wheel speed sensor is not updating, okay? The graph over here, as you can see, is not updating. So this sensor is not working. Now let's back out. Let's see if the code came back in the control unit. So there's no code right now. It's probably because we have to drive the vehicle fast enough. So this is gonna be a quick and easy one. It looks like we might just have a sensor issue. Okay, so we graphed all the sensors. I'm going to back up slowly here in the shop. We're going to go forward. Okay, so these graphs work. So this sensor is producing a signal when the wheel is spinning. So this one works, this one works, this one works, but this one doesn't. So the right rear wheel speed sensor is now producing a signal when the wheel is spinning. So I'm gonna put the vehicle on the lift. 
Let's get access to this sensor so we can do a visual inspection. Let's see if this sensor is good or bad. Maybe the wire for this sensor is broken. So let's get access to this right rear sensor and do a visual inspection. I'm gonna get the vehicle on the lift and then I'll bring you guys back up. The key is still on in the vehicle and I still have my scan tool connected to the vehicle. So now let's look at the sensor. Here is our right rear wheel speed sensor. If we follow this wire, it goes to an electrical connector over here. This connector, this over here is the electrical connector of the wheel speed sensor. Okay. So is it the sensor that's bad or is it the sensor wiring? That's what we have to find out. Now let's check out the sensor on the driver's side. So this over here is the driver's side. And these sensors are the same. They're both the same left and right. So the left rear and the right rear sensor are similar. So this is the sensor on the driver's side. If we follow the wiring, it comes to this connector here, that electrical connector there. This is the electrical connector of the sensor. So since the key is still on in the vehicle, I'm gonna bring up our scan tool here. Let's roll our scan tool over here. Okay, so I still have my sensor data pulled up on the scan tool. We have all our graphs here. We're gonna focus on the left rear wheel speed sensor and the right rear wheel speed sensor. So I'm gonna put this over here and I'm going to spin the wheel. I'm gonna spin the right rear. And as I'm spinning this wheel, if the sensor is good, it's gonna produce a signal and we're gonna have some activity on the scan tool graph. So I'm spinning the wheel. So now let's look at the scan tool. What do we have on the scan tool? So right here, we have some activity on the scan tool. So when we spin the left rear wheel speed sensor, while the vehicle is up, we have activity on the scan tool graph, which tells us that this sensor is producing a signal and we know that's good. Okay, so now let's check this one. This side is the bad one. So let's spin this. We're spinning the tire. So now let's check out the scan tool. So we spun the tire, but this line over here stayed flat. So the right rear wheel speed sensor is not producing a signal when the wheel is spinning. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the left rear wheel speed sensor, which is good to test the circuit of the right rear wheel speed sensor. So I'm gonna bypass this sensor with the left rear wheel speed sensor. So here's what I'm gonna do. Let's look at the sensor here again. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to disconnect this sensor from the sensor wiring. I'm gonna use test leads. I'm gonna back probe the wires on the sensor wiring on this side. And then I will connect the sensor wiring of the right rear to the sensor of the left rear. And then we're gonna spin the wheel. Once we spin the wheel, that sensor is good. It's gonna produce a signal, but the signal is gonna go to the circuit of this sensor. If the circuit is good, when that signal goes to the circuit, the ABS control unit is gonna see that and it's gonna update the graph on the scan tool. If it does that, that's gonna tell us that the sensor circuit is good. And at that point, the problem is gonna be the sensor. So now let's do that. So this is the left rear wheel speed sensor. This is the sensor that's working. So I'm gonna disconnect the electrical connector of this sensor, just like that. And then we're gonna remove this sensor from this holder over here. Okay, so this is our good sensor. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use these test leads and connect them to the sensor pin. Okay. 
Okay, so we're doing this to test the sensor circuit. So I'm gonna bypass the sensor on the right rear with the sensor on the left rear. Okay, so this sensor is good. Now we're gonna connect our test lead to it, to one of these test leads. I'm gonna connect this one over here. And then we're gonna use the other test lead, the black one over here. Now these sensors can be polarity sensitive. So when you do this, you have to try them one way first. If it doesn't work, you can flip these around. And if you have a code in the ABS control unit, this may not work. So you have to make sure that after connecting these wires, you have to erase your trouble codes in the ABS control unit. Okay, so we're connected here. So now let's go to the right side of the vehicle. We are here on the right rear side. This is the bad sensor that's not working. So I'm gonna disconnect the electrical connector of the sensor. Now on this side, we're gonna tap into the harness side. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to back probe this wire and then I'm going to connect my test leads that are coming from the non-good sensor. So this is going to go right here. And then the other one, the other wire, oops, is going to get connected to this back probing tool. So I'm back probing the harness side of the right rear wheel speed sensor. Okay, so we're good to go. As you can see, we are back probing the sensor wires on the harness side of the vehicle. This is the sensor that's not working. So we are bypassing this sensor with the sensor on the left rear. So over here on the good sensor, we are connecting our test leads to the sensor. Okay. Oops, this one came out. Let's reconnect this. So we are connecting these test leads to the sensor and they are going to this sensor wiring harness. So now, when I spin this wheel, if the wiring of this sensor is good, because the signal that this sensor is producing is gonna flow through these test leads and it's gonna go to this sensor wiring and eventually it's gonna make it to the ABS control unit. So the ABS control unit is gonna see the activity coming from this wheel, okay? And we're doing that just to test the sensor wiring so I'm spinning the wheel, nothing is happening on the scan tool. Okay, so let me show you the wheel and the scan tool. Now these sensors are polarity sensitive. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swap these around. Let's swap these test leads around and test again. Actually, let's see if we have any trouble codes in the ABS control unit. Okay, let's erase these codes. Let's go to data. Okay, let's spin the wheel again. As I'm spinning the wheel, nothing is happening. So let's switch these test leads around and see what happens. Because these sensors can be polarity sensitive, so we're gonna take this one, 
and put this one over here and then this one over here okay so now let's spin the wheel although we're gonna spin the left rear wheel but the right rear graph should update so right now we got zero zero here so now I'm gonna spin the wheel let's see what we got so I'm spinning the wheel there we go now I see activity on the scan tool graph so this is good guys look at what we got here so now the right rear wheel speed sensor graph is now showing some activity so we have some activity over here so the abs control unit is seeing the movement that this sensor is producing on the right rear but we know the right rear sensor is bad but we have activity here because we bypassed this sensor on the right rear with the sensor on the left rear. Seeing this activity over here tells me that the wheel speed sensor wiring is good. So the wiring from the sensor to the ABS control unit is good. So at this point, our problem is either a bad sensor or a bad relactor wheel on the bearing. I don't think the relactor wheel on the bearing is bad. The sensor is bad we have to replace the sensor on the right rear wheel okay so the right rear wheel speed sensor has to be replaced once we remove the sensor we're going to look into the sensor hole to see if our relactor wheel is good but i'm pretty sure this is a sensor problem so this is how you can quickly test a sensor wiring by bypassing a bad sensor with a good sensor which we did okay so we bypassed the bad sensor on the right rear with the sensor on the left rear which is good okay so we spin this we have activity on the scan tool okay remember before it was only the left rear that was updating before but now the right rear is updating too so we are done with our test we can remove our test leads so we are done so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna remove these test leads that i have here and then i'm gonna remove the wheel let's remove the wheel so we can remove the right rear wheel speed sensor Here is our wheel speed sensor. As you can see, the bolt for the wheel speed sensor is completely messed up. So removing this wheel speed sensor is gonna be interesting here. I'm gonna spray some penetrating fluid around the sensor. We have to use a bolt extractor to remove this bolt because this bolt is completely messed up. It's rusted out so let's try this extractor here I'm gonna tap this so this is too big let me get a smaller one so let's try this one all right so i hope this thing doesn't break oh nice so the bolt is loose it's coming out very good and this is this extractor works pretty well so here comes the bolt the head of the bolt is messed up but it came out so now we gotta remove the sensor so i'm gonna grab the sensor with these pliers and i'm 
going to try to rock the sensor back and forth. This is going to be the fun part. So I'm going to try to rock the sensor back and forth. I mean the sensor is bad, so even if we destroy this side, it's fine. Hmm. How am I going to remove this? So we're gonna rock this sensor back and forth. Hopefully it comes out. I'm gonna pull the wire also as I'm rocking it back and forth. Perfect, just like that. Here comes our defective sensor. Okay, so the sensor came out. I'm gonna get it out of the way. We're gonna use some sandpaper to clean the sensor hole. Now, as I'm looking into the sensor hole, the magnetic strip on the bearing looks good. So I'm going to spin the disc to see it. So you guys won't be able to see it, but just take my word for it. The uh, sensor uh, trigger magnet on the bearing are good. So now let's clean the sensor hole and then we're going to install the brand new sensor. And after that, we should be good to go. All right, so the sensor hole is cleaned and the sensor magnet on the wheel bearing is good. So now we're gonna install our brand new wheel speed sensor. Here is the wheel speed sensor part number. We got the sensor from Mercedes. So we got an OEM sensor. I'm gonna get it out of the bag. So here is our brand new wheel speed sensor. Now I'm gonna apply a little bit of anti-seize compound on the sensor body right here just a little bit so it doesn't seize up again now you don't want to put a lot of grease over here just a little bit i'm not putting on the tip of the sensor but just over here on the sensor body okay just like that and now we're going to install the sensor. Just like that. Perfect. Okay. Our brand new sensor is installed. Now, this is the old bolt. As you can see, the head of the bolt is completely messed up. I have another bolt over here. But this bolt is slightly longer than this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two washers on this bolt to shorten it a little bit. Okay. And then we're going to tighten this bolt. After that, we're going to put the wheel back on and we should be good to go. So let's tighten the wheel speed sensor bolt. All right. So that's good. This bolt is tightened. Now I'm going to route the sensor wiring over here. I'm going to connect the sensor wiring to the harness 
just like that. Perfect. All right, so that's it, we're good to go. As you can see, we have installed a new wheel speed sensor on the right rear, so we're good to go. The sensor is connected to the vehicle harness. So now let's install the tire. Oh man, this tire is heavy. We have reinstalled the tire. Let's check our wheel speed sensor connections before we lower the vehicle. So there is our brand new wheel speed sensor. The connection looks good. We're good to go. Let's check the left rear. I reconnected this sensor off camera. Everything looks good here. So we're good to go. So now let's lower the vehicle. It is the moment of the truth. I got the vehicle off the lift. Now we're going to verify our repair. I'm going to turn the key on. I'm going to bring up our scan tool. The scan tool is still connected to the vehicle. We're going to go to the ABS control unit. We're going to go to data. We're going to go to RPM sensors. We're going to graph all these wheel speed sensors. This vehicle has four wheel speed sensors. We have two in the front and two in the back. Now, remember before, the right rear wheel speed sensor was not working. When I was driving back and forth in the shop, only these three sensors were updating. We only have activity on these three sensors, but this one had a flat line on it. So we have replaced the sensor. Now let's see what happens. So we're going to take this for a test drive. Now I'm going to start barking out of the shop here. As you can see, we have activity on all the sensors. So this sensor is now working. So this is good guys. This is fixed. I can already tell that this is fixed. So we're going to put our scan tool over here. And then we're going to go for a test drive. Now, the ABS light is still on on the dash. This could be because we're using the scan tool to monitor the wheel speed sensor data pids. So we are inside the ABS control unit with the scan tool. That can cause the ABS light to remain on on the dash. So let's go for a drive and see what happens. So right now, everything looks good on the scan tool. Okay, we have activity on all the sensors and they're all mirroring each other. So that's good. Let's go for a drive. The vehicle drives well. The SRS light went off on the dash. The ABS light is still on. And this triangular light that has an exclamation point on it is still on. Now the data on the scan tool looks good. All our sensors are updating. Okay. So everything is good. Now this ABS light is still on. It's because the scan tool is connected to the ABS control unit and we are getting data out of the ABS control unit. So this is fixed. I'm going to stop here. I'm going to disconnect my scan tool from the vehicle. Okay, so let's look at the scan tool over here. As you can see, our sensor data looks the same. Our graphs are mirroring each other. So we're good to go. So this is good. Now I'm going to disconnect my scan tool to the vehicle. And then we're going to drive without the scan tool connected to the vehicle. And I'm sure after that, the ABS light is going to go off. I'm going to turn off the engine. 
I'm going to get my scan tool disconnected. Let's bring our scan tool back up here. Let's back out. I'm going to clear all the faults. The scan tool is done clearing the codes out of all these control units. We're going to click OK. So now I'm going to disconnect the scan tool from the vehicle. I'm going to disconnect our dangle down here. Let's turn this off. We are done with the scan tool here. So right there, as you can see, the ABS light went off. So now let's drive. So we're good to go guys, this is fixed. As you can see, we no longer have any lights on on the dash. Actually, now we have a message on the dash that says auxiliary battery malfunction. So it looks like the auxiliary battery has to be replaced. I will let the customer know, but we fixed what we were hired for. The vehicle was brought to us because the ABS light was remaining on and that triangular light was remaining on also and the SRS light was on on the dash now those lights are no longer on on the dash we're good to go this is fixed guys so this vehicle needed a right rear wheel speed sensor we replaced the sensor now all is well so this is fixed I'm gonna drive back to the shop when I get back to the shop I will bring you guys back up so we can wrap up this video so see you guys at the shop. All right, we are back at the shop. We're good to go. Now, as you can see, our ABS light did not come back on. Our SRS light didn't come back on. So we're good to go. I don't even have to rescan the ABS control unit. This is fixed. I'm gonna turn off the engine so we can wrap up this video. I'm gonna leave this right over here. The ABS light is no longer remaining on on the dash while the vehicle is being driven down the road. And the other lights that were on on the dash are also off now. So this is fixed. I'm gonna leave this right over here. The problem was a defective right rear wheel speed sensor. We replaced the sensor, now all is well. So I hope you liked the video. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up if you don't like the video give it a thumb down but if you do you gotta tell me why so we can make better videos in the future if this is your first time here subscribe to the channel ring the bell so you can get notified every time i upload a new video if you have any comments questions criticism leave them in the comment box thanks for watching see you next time